Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are here with some items that I picked up at Walmart and Aldi today. Um, this is maybe the last trip I make out for a little while. Um, I've stopped, I had already stocked up on everything for the most part. I started just um, getting a little bit extra when I went to the store. Every time I went, I would just pick up one or two extra things, maybe some canned food, um, you know, food and water and stuff like that. I started doing that back in the middle of January, so I didn't really have to buy anything, uh, which was good because the, um, the panic at the stores around here has been pretty crazy from what I understand. I have missed all that, fortunately. Um, but today I just decided to go run out to Walmart. I wanted to get a few things and it actually wasn't too bad. It wasn't really that crowded. I mean, there were people there, but I wouldn't say it was any worse than a typical Sunday. Um, and it, it was, I was in and out of there in less than 15 minutes. I didn't even have to wait in line to check out. They, they were moving people through there very quickly. I got out of Aldi even faster. I was out of Aldi in less than 10 minutes, and I didn't have to wait in line there either. Um, Aldi was better stocked than Walmart, but, you know, more people go to Walmart, so it kind of makes sense. But I wanted to just so, show you some of the things that I picked up to kind of supplement all the stuff I've already bought. I already have all of the essentials. Um, I didn't go crazy on toilet paper. I still don't understand that. Um... I took a few pictures while I was in Walmart. I just, I had my cell phone with me. I pulled it out and just took a, a few snaps of some interesting things that I just thought I would show you. And I'm going to put all that together. Maybe do like a little slideshow with that later today, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, just to show you just what the store shelves look like. It's, it's probably the same wherever you are, so it's not that unique or anything, but... I don't know. I find that stuff fascinating for some reason. I like to see what the, sh the store shelves look like in other areas. I'm not really sure why that is, but it's interesting to me. So while I was in there, I, I already had my phone. I just took two seconds and took some pictures of some empty shelves. Um, I did the same in Aldi too. I didn't. I took a few pictures in there as well. Um, but I wanted to just take a minute and say thank you to all of the medical folks, the first responders, the doctors, the nurses, hospital staff, all of the people out there who are dealing with this head on. I really appreciate everything you're doing and I cannot imagine how stressful this is for you and your families. And I know that you've made a lot of sacrifices and you will have to continue to do that. And I, I can't thank you enough for everything that you're doing. Um, you really stand between us and this nightmare. Um, of course, wash your hands, everybody. Avoid unnecessary contact with people. Um, do everything you can, but thank you to all the people out there who are putting their lives at risk, potentially, and the people they come into contact with to try to help deal with this, and I appreciate it. And I also want to say thank you to the retail workers. I think they get overlooked a lot. Thank you for being there. You know, when I was in Walmart and Aldi today, they were, there were there were employees everywhere. I've never seen so many employees in Walmart in my life. They were going around. They were wiping down things. They were cleaning. You know, just they have a routine. They have a procedure for this kind of thing. They're doing everything they can to keep everything as clean as possible. And I really appreciate everything you're doing. Um... I know I talked to a cashier when I was there and he said that some people, he said that everybody's, it's like all the customers are going one way or the other. They're either super, super nice or they're really mean. He said they will either cuss you out because there's no toilet paper or they are thanking you profusely for being open, you know. He says it's like there's no in between. Everybody's really happy or really angry that comes through his line. He said, I, I don't. I don't know how much more of this I can take. He said, it's just, it's like a roller coaster. Um, and while I was there, I went in there mainly to get bird seed, but I picked up a few other things while I was there. Um, an interesting thing happened. Now the store, all the Walmarts are closing at 11 o'clock every night. Now we have four super centers in Greensboro. I don't know how many uh, of the little neighborhood market Walmarts, the little Walmarts. I don't know how many of those we have. We have a bunch. Um, 
normally they're open 24 hours a day, but now they're closing at 11 p.m. to do extra cleaning and to put out stock. And what happened while I was there, I didn't hear about it, but the lady in line behind me told me about it. There was no toilet paper at all. No toilet paper, no paper towels, no nothing. She had toilet paper in her cart, and both the cashier and I said, where did you get that? And she said, oh, they just brought out a pallet of it, and they just barely got it out of the back, the back room back there. And she said, people just jumped on it. She said, none of it got put out on the shelf. People just dive-bombed that pallet and took all of the toilet paper. It's, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I've never heard of anything like this. Um, just people panicking, you know, it's... It's like that line from Men in Black, you know, a person is smart, but people are dumb, panicky animals. And they really are. People just, they panic. But I wanted to say thank you to all the medical folks out there, um, law enforcement, anybody who's going to have to deal with the public and the fallout of everything that's going to come in the next few months. Thank you so much for everything that you do. And please stay safe and look after yourself too. Get rest when you can. And you got my support. You know, I, I really appreciate everything you've done. And to the retail workers, too. You, you have to deal with people. You know, everybody's stressed out and, you know, they're just freaking out. And they just take it out on people. They want to vent their frustration. And a lot of times they will vent it on people that don't have any control over what they're mad about. And a lot of times that's people in retail stores. And it's unfortunate. And I really wish people wouldn't do it. It's that's messed up, but they have to deal with people being verbally abusive and sometimes physically abusive. Thank you for everything you do. And I recognize how hard it is. And I, I'm so sorry. And I appreciate you being there. So with that said, I will show you the stuff I got. Um, I've stocked up on all the essentials. Most of this is just junk food, basically. I don't really have any of that. I was looking at everything I have and I realized I don't really have any snack stuff. I have a little bit and I did stock up on some snack stuff, but a lot of that went to my mom <laughs> because she didn't prepare at all. So I wanted to make sure she had some stuff. Um, so I thought, let me just grab some stuff and we're going to start with the crinkly things. I always try to do those first. Just try, I try to keep it a little quieter as you get on into the, the video. It's, there's a method to my madness. Now these came from Aldi. And most of this stuff I'm going to hide. I'm going to put it away and hide it. Um, I don't want the kids to know I have all this stuff. They don't know yet. Um, I don't want them to know because they'll try to eat it all up right away and I want to ration it out. Um, the first thing we have is from Clancy's. These are ranch flavored tortilla chips. Interesting thing about these, these are 75 cents per bag at Aldi. It is an 11 ounce bag. At the Aldi I go to, they're 75 cents. But I went to an Aldi in High Point um, a couple of weeks ago. They were $1.25 there. 50 cents more for the same bag. I thought that was interesting. So that, that's a big price difference. Usually it's about 10 cents different, you know, in one store. It was a huge difference. But these are like, um, these are like Doritos Cool Ranch flavor. Um, my younger son loves these. And Aldi was actually pretty well stocked with almost everything, except of course, you know, hand sanitizer. All the toilet paper was gone. I think all the paper towels were gone. Uh, Clorox wipes, stuff like that, it was all gone. But stuff like this, they were actually fairly well stocked. Um, so yeah, those are the ranch flavored Clancy's tortilla chips. They're okay. I've, I've tried them. They're actually not bad. Now these came from Walmart. They don't carry these at Aldi. These are Chester's fries and they have the flaming hot flavor on them. I don't like them. My younger son thinks these things are wonderful. Um, they're just little, they look like they're shaped like little french fries, but they're not. They're just, I don't know, baked carcinogens or something. As somebody, somebody commented on my last Aldi video and said, sweetie, none of that stuff is food. God bless. Like, 
yeah, yeah. peace be with you too. Um, but yeah, I know it's not real food, but they have shut down schools here for the next two weeks at least with the option to keep them closed longer. And so the kids are going to be stuck here at home every day for two weeks and we're limiting our trips outside of the house. So if they want a snack, I'm going to let them have a snack. I'm not worried about it. Whether it's real food or not, I think we'll survive it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I just found out right before I started this video, um, the Lego convention was last weekend and we were going to go on March the 8th. You know, you have to buy your tickets in advance and you have to pick a day that you're going to go and you have to pick morning or afternoon. I bought tickets to go on Sunday, March the 8th. And I decided out of an abundance of caution that we shouldn't go. So we didn't go to the Lego convention. Um, and I told a couple of people about it and they kind of just scoffed and said, oh, seriously, you're not going to, you're not going to cancel that. You already got the tickets. Are you seriously not going to go? You're not going to go and let the kids enjoy that. I said, no, we're not. Well, it just came out today that they have confirmed that someone with coronavirus was there the day we were supposed to go. Um, and there is a possibility that other people there were infected with it. So it's, you know, it's a big convention. There are lots of people there. That's why I didn't want to go. You know, you're all indoors. People come from all over the country to go to that thing. Everybody's touching everything. And mm -mm, no, I'm really glad we didn't go now. So it's interesting times that we're living in right now. It's probably going to be the, it will be the most documented widespread sickness in the history of mankind. It's kind of interesting. Okay. I'm talking a lot. So. Now these are going into hiding as well. They actually had lots of stuff like this. I was kind of expecting all of the, um, all the snack stuff to be gone, but they actually had a lot of stuff like this. Now these are Benton's Original Fudge Striped Shortbread Cookies. And I have a special, I have a tote. There's a tote hidden in my attic. I'm going to put stuff like this in because they don't ever go up there. If they ever go up there, they're not going to go looking through totes of stuff. I hide Christmas presents the same way. So I just take this up into the attic and hide it in a tote. They'll never know it's there. So. Every now and then I will just emerge with a snack and they're not going to have any idea where it came from. <laughs> so that way if we do get stuck here and I can't go anywhere, um, I will have an extra stash of stuff like this. So these are like the Keebler Fudge Stripe cookies. And they actually, to me, taste exactly the same. The difference is that for this 13 ounce container of Fudge Stripe cookies, you can get them at Aldi for 95 cents. Not even a dollar for this package of cookies. And they're really good. They are yummy cookies. The little shortbread cookies, and they have the little stripes of fudge over the top, and the bottom is completely covered in that same fudge. They are, they're good. They're made with real cocoa, and they are crunchy. They're kind of rich, though. If I were to eat them, I couldn't eat more than a couple, because they're really rich. I'm going to try to keep the kids on a schedule, you know, like when they're in school. They're going to be, eventually, I think they're going to be doing classes online. They don't have it set up yet, but they're hoping to have it set up sometime this coming week. So I'm going to try to keep them on a, a consistent schedule. So, you know, eating at the same time, going to bed at the same time. I'm going to try to do that because I still have to work. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be... I may be able to work remotely some. I may be able to work from here some. Due to the nature of my job, I can't do everything here, but I'm hoping that I will be able to set it up so I can work from home some. This coming week, in fact, I'm going to be working from here. So the kids and I may kill each other. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It's a test run for this summer when we'll all be here. Now, my younger son did ask for some apples. He loves apples all of a sudden. He's eating them all the time. And I bought some of those pizzazz apples. I actually still have some. But while I was there, I grabbed a bag of these wonderful pink lady apples. These are from Washington State. Rainier fruit. Wholesome to the core. 
And you can get a bag of apples this size at Aldi. Let me see. It is three pounds of apples. For, I think they're only three. I think it was three twenty-nine. It wasn't much. And he, he, he really likes these too. He likes the pizzazz apples. But we had bought the pink lady apples before. And he really liked those. So I told him I would pick up some more apples so we'll have extras. These are going into the tote too. And no, I don't eat these. I, I, I do a low carb diet so I don't, I don't eat, I don't eat these. Um, but these are Benton's Original Chocolate Sandwich Cookies. Now, I did buy some of these recently. They're still in the cabinet. Um, it looked like somebody had opened it, but it's still, it's like most of them are still there. It looks like somebody opened it and took some out, but these are going to go up in the attic. I'll we'll save them for later so that if we get stuck here, we can have, they can have a treat. They really taste just like Oreos. I have tried these before. They taste just like Oreos. But you can get a pack of these for less than two dollars. I think they're a dollar forty-five. It's fourteen point three ounces of cookies, and they have this little resealable top, and it has these little little things on it. It's like a tamper-proof seal, so that if somebody opens it, it's going to leave a tear in those little tamper-proof seals, and you're going to know if somebody has opened the package or not. So those are going to go in my secret stash for later, <laughs> just in case we get stuck here. Now these are for me. I bought a pack of these last time. Now these they have these over with all their different types of mixed nuts and things. Um, these are from Simply Nature and the package that I bought last time was the first time I had ever bought that per this particular type. These are raw cashews, walnuts, and macadamia nuts. These are so incredibly good. You can get this 8 ounce package and there are no peanuts or anything in here or almonds for that fact, for that matter. These are only $4.99 and they come in a resealable package and they are non-GMO uh, nuts and they are really good. They make such a good snack um, and a package like this will last me three or four days. Just, you know, eat a little handful of them and they are so good. They're not salted or anything. They're just raw. They're not roasted or anything. They are so incredibly good. And they're only $5. So if you buy stuff like that, you know how expensive they can be. <laughs> um, but yeah, those, those come from Aldi. And while I was there, I grabbed another package of them. Now, I went to Walmart first. And they were almost completely out of bread. They were out completely out of hot dog buns, completely out of hamburger buns. There wasn't a single pack to be had. They had a little bit of bread left. Um, I decided to go with Nature's Own Butter Bread. This is for my son who eats a sandwich every day for lunch. I'm still going to expect him to make his lunch and eat his lunch every day. He's not going to live on potato chips. He would if I would let him. He would love that, but I'm not going to let him do that. <laughs> so this is Nature's Own Butter Bread, and this is a 20-ounce package of bread. I decided that I better go ahead and get it because I was afraid I would get to Aldi and not be able to find any bread. And it's a really good thing I did because they were out of bread at, <laughs> at Aldi, except for some hamburger buns, and I took a picture of it. I don't know why it just struck me as funny, but the, the hamburger buns were all laying in a pile on the shelf, like somebody just picked up the pallet and dumped them out. Like, I don't know why somebody would do that, but you'll see it in the slideshow later. It was weird. It looked like, it looked like the hamburger buns were trying to fight each other. It was really strange. They were just piled up in a mound on the shelf, but I figured while I was in a store that had bread, I ought to just go ahead and get some. And he can use this for his lunches all week. Um, this is not the bread that I eat. This is for my younger son. And of course, as always, you know, I get refrigerated things. Like I got some chicken and some ground beef. They had plenty of that at Aldi. Um, some lunch meat and cheese and eggs. No, they did not have eggs. Eggs came from Walmart, but they're in the refrigerator. I don't bring all that out because it's it's put away, but 
you know, there's, there's more than what you see. This is just the stuff that doesn't have to be refrigerated. Now this bread is for me. This is some of the Love and Fresh bread, and I, I have quite a stockpile of this now. Um, but again, I'm, pre I'm preparing just in case we aren't able to go out. Um, more and more cases have popped up in the state, and it's like they're, they're slowly circling us, and they're just getting closer and closer. Um, so I just thought I would go ahead and grab a, a loaf of this while I was there. They had a bunch of it. They had tons of this bread. Uh, it's three, $3.45 per loaf. It is 14 ounces. So I wasn't taking it away from anyone. They had plenty left, and I only bought this one loaf. This is the multi-seed bread. They also have one that's plain wheat. I like the multi-seed because it has whole seeds in here. I think it's all sunflower seeds. And it's just, it's really good. It's actually really good bread. And it's really high in fiber too. If you're looking to increase your fiber, um, the Love and Fresh Zero Net Carbs bread is, is really high in fiber. Oh, I was going to show you the main thing I went to Walmart for. It's kind of heavy and it's crinkly. I forgot the birds when I was when I was stockpiling my stuff. I got tons of cat food. I have wet food. I have dry food. I have two extra boxes of cat litter. Um, and you know, these are things that I would just get like if I was out shopping. I would just grab if I was getting cat litter. I'd just get an extra box. When I got cat food, I'd just get an extra bag, you know? It, it wasn't like I went out and panicked and bought $400 worth of stuff or anything. It was just over the last two months, I just gradually been building up and preparing just, just in case. And I had people think I was, say I was ridiculous. And I said, the worst that could happen is that I'll have some extra stuff to use. You know, if it all, if it's all nothing, it's all stuff I'll use. I just won't have to buy it for a while. <laughs> so, they're not laughing now, though. I feel sorry for people who go to the store and genuinely need stuff. I do. I especially think about people, elderly people, or people who, you know, for different reasons, just are not able to get to the store very often. Um, I feel bad for them, you know, if they're not, if they legitimately need stuff, and now it's all gone. You know, it seems like every time we have a snowstorm, it seems like that's when I actually really need milk and bread. And I try to go get it and there is none. It's so frustrating. But, you know, I'm trying to look out for the people in my life to the best of my ability. I've tried. I warned some people who didn't take it seriously. So I went to Walmart to get this. The birds here are so spoiled and it's my fault. I have, I have spoiled my birds. I'm looking at them right now. I have four goldfinches on my feeders right now and it's wonderful because you get to watch them become more and more yellow as it gets closer to spring and then by summertime they are a vibrant yellow. It looks like somebody colored them with a highlighter. They are, they turn bright yellow. Right now they're kind of a like a dirty yellow. They're like a brownish yellow. They were mostly brown with a hint of yellow, and now they're starting to become more yellow. They love this stuff right here. I have only ever found it at Walmart. Now, this is from Pennington Select. These are sunflower chips, and oh, they love this stuff. I get um, goldfinches, wrens, even some robins. I've had some robins come to, uh, they eat it off the ground along with the doves. The doves eat it on the ground. Um, bluebirds. Oh, we have so many bluebirds. Cardinals. Um, even woodpeckers. Sometimes you'll see a woodpecker out there eating it too. Um, I put out suet blocks for the woodpeckers. They mainly like that. But I wanted to make sure I had extra food for the birds. I didn't want to forget about them. So you don't, the thing I love about this stuff is you don't have any holes or mess. And with regular bird seed, you know, it falls to the ground and then you end up with this funky grass that grows under your bird feeder. Um, I don't have that because I only ever buy sunflower chips. And it says on here that it attracts these favorites, 
woodpeckers, pine sis siskins, and purple finches. We do have purple finches too, and the gold finches. The purple finches are really pretty. And sometimes there will be birds out there. I don't even know what they are. Like you, every now and then you look out there and go, what is that? You get some funky looking birds out there sometimes. And every now and then you'll even see crows out there pecking at it on the ground. <laughs> oh, and the squirrels. Of course, the squirrels love it. Um, but they're spoiled. Now this, this seed is more expensive. This is, let me see. How heavy is this bag? This bag is five pounds, and a five pound bag is about eight dollars. Now this will fill up my bird feeders two or three times. I can get out of one bag of this, and they are emptying out my bird feeders about every three days right now. Um, we've had a lot of activity out there. Um, yeah, it's, they're just constant. I ought to make a video of it. I ought to set up a video camera and just make a video of the birds out there. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so I got three bags. I already had a couple of extra bags, but I got three more. And um, that was the main thing I went to Walmart to get. I went online to see if I could order it online and I couldn't find it. So I thought, well, I'll just go in and get it. So while I was in there, um, I also got this right here. This is the uh, foundation that I used, but I, I went with a shade lighter. I thought maybe I, I'm, I'm getting more and more pale. <laughs> uh, yesterday, though, I spent all day outside doing yard work. Um, I did. We put out 20 huge bags of mulch yesterday and did all kinds of work around the yard. We were out there for, we were out there for about five hours yesterday working, and I got a little sun out there. Um, but a lot the garden center is right next to the, the uh, cosmetics and the health and beauty aids section. So I grabbed some of this True Match foundation from L'Oreal. It is natural buff. The color number is N3. So I figured while I was in there, I'd grab that too. Then nobody's wiped out the makeup. Nobody's worried about that. <laughs> and while I was in there, these came from Walmart. Um, these are for me. These are Pepsi Zero Sugar. It used to be called Pepsi Max here in the USA. I know some countries still call it that. Not really sure why they changed it. I think they just wanted to emphasize the fact that there was no sugar in it. Um, maybe people were confused by the name and didn't know that it was Zero Sugar. I'm not really sure. But they had these for a dollar each. These are two liter bottles of Pepsi Zero Sugar. So I got a few of those as well, just to have some extra, because sometimes even on a regular day, you go in there and it's all wiped out and you can't get any of that kind. Now they always have plenty of regular Pepsi and Diet Pepsi, which is awful. I cannot stand it. It just has this awful aftertaste. But the Pepsi Zero Sugar, they sell out of sometimes. And they have this new thing, and I tried it once, and I can't make up my mind how I feel about it. This is Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. And it, I do think it tastes better than Diet Mountain Dew, um, but I can't, I haven't quite decided yet if I like it or not. But these were also just a dollar for these two liters. So I went ahead and just grabbed, I got one of these. I just, I want to try it again and see how I feel about it. I think I like it, but I'm not sure. I, I'm never. I'm not a huge um, Mountain Dew fan anyway, but I can't. I have not been able to decide if I like it or not. Um. Oh, I meant to mention this too. If you're looking for information about the sickness, um, a really good channel is Dr. John Campbell. Um, I will put a link to his channel in the description. He is he is a wonderful resource. If you want to know, you know, what's going on with it all over the world. And he gives you a lot of basic information about viruses and how they work and the function of your lungs and a lot of good basic information. He's not hysterical. He just lists the facts. And I've been watching him since about mid-January. And um, I've learned a lot just watching his videos. So he's, he is, he's something. He is really He's awesome. So I highly recommend you check out his channel. 
when I started watching him, um, he had maybe 100,000 subscribers. Now I think he's up over f maybe close to 500,000. So yeah, word has really gotten out how, how helpful his videos are. So I, I highly check, I recommend his channel. It's really, really informative. I've learned way more watching him than watching the news. I've given up watching the news because they just say the same thing over and over. And Dr. John Campbell, check him out. Now these are also going into the tote up in the attic. These are Savor It's Original Buttery Round Crackers. And these are just the regular flavor. I think they also have one that's whole wheat and one that's garden vegetable or something. Um, my kids like to eat these with little pieces of cheese. Sometimes they just eat them by themselves. You get four tubes in here, little sleeves of crackers. It's a 13.7 ounce box. And these do come from Aldi, the Savor It's brand, of course. That's one of the Aldi brands. They make all kinds of crackers and snacks. This is just one of them. So I grabbed an extra box of those. And yeah, they had tons of stuff like this. I wasn't really sure what to expect when I went in there. I wasn't sure if they would have a lot of stuff or not. They'd be wiped out, but fortunately they had quite a bit. I really only went in there for lunch meat, but when I saw they had this other stuff, I went in and just grabbed this stuff too. But I was in and out in less than 10 minutes. I don't think I've ever gotten out of Aldi that fast. They were really churning people through. They had three registers open to keep everybody moving and out the door. <laughs> and I, I picked up some more of these. Um, these are really good. If you're on a low carb diet, this might be something to look into. This is lemonade. It's not spark. It's not sparkling or anything. I'm not. I'm not a fan of the sparkling flavored water. It's from Fit and Active, and they have different flavors. This is really, really delicious lemonade. And for this entire bottle, you only have two grams of carbs. There's no sugar in it. Um, and it's this whole thing right here is only 15 calories. And it's really good. Um, so I, I enjoy those myself. My kids kind of got burnt out on them, and they don't really drink them anymore. But I love them. Oh, I found these. I didn't mean to find these. Um, I was I was in Walmart and I was coming through the grocery section. I was headed toward the garden center toward the bird seed and I spotted these shoes. Look at these boots. I know I can't eat these, but look. Look at these cool boots. They have zippers on them. Um, the thing here says eight and a half, but they were a size nine, and that's totally fine. These were originally $20. They were marked down to $5 for this cute little pair of shoes. Look at, they're so cute. It looks like suede, but it's just a fabric. It's not, it's not suede. I thought these were so cool. I think I'm going to wear these tomorrow. <laughs> now, I do have to go into the office for a little bit tomorrow, but... It's looking like the rest of the week I'm going to be working remotely. Um, everything is kind of up in the air right now. Everything is kind of, you know, and I know it's that way for everybody. It's kind of take it day by day and see what changes. So, but I also picked up this at Aldi. We saw these, if you saw the sales circular, you know, that they were going to have these. I bought one of these about two years ago. And it works great. It's really easy to clean. It's easy to refill. Um, and it's glass. And these are only $6.99. And it has four little spots for the birds to drink from. I meant to get a thing of nectar and I forgot it, but I don't need it yet because I'm not ready to put it out yet. The hummingbirds are not. I, I think it's a little too early for the hummingbirds, but I'll be putting it out soon. But I wanted to go ahead and grab one of these. It is from Garden Line, which is an Aldi brand. You can see the picture of the little hummingbird right there. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, and these are going in the tote as well. These are Benton's Animal Crackers. I have not bought animal crackers in forever, but these were sitting on a little end cap up near the register. And I was headed to the register and I just grabbed a box of them. 
and they're, they're just little animal shaped crackers. And on the back, you even have a little maze that you can complete if you want to do a little activity. You start here and you want to come out, you're the little bear, and you want to work your way through and come out up here where the camel is. This is a 13 ounce box of animal crackers and it was only $1.25. Now let me see. Oh, I've been watching a lot of movies lately. I was gonna make a video yesterday afternoon, but I ended up with a really bad headache. Um, so I just took it easy and watched a movie. I just, I didn't feel good. After I got done with all the work outside, I, I had this terrible headache, and um, so I just couldn't do it, but I thought it might be a good idea to stock up on a little bit more microwave popcorn. This is the Movie Theater Butter Flavor from Clancy's, and it is a premium microwave popcorn. You get six full-size packages in here. It's not the little snack packages, which are annoying. I want the big bag. You get six 2.9 ounce bags in here for a total of 17.4 ounces. And this, they were almost out. They only had one box left other than this one. And they were out of the regular, there's a regular butter, a movie theater butter. They were out of the regular butter. All they had were two boxes of fat. So I got one of those. Figured I'd leave the other one for somebody else. And I think I'm gonna stick these in the freezer. My kids like these if they're in the freezer. These are Baker's Treat Cupcakes. They are fr cho frosted chocolate cakes with a creamy filling. Like that. Now they're not that they're not that big. It's enlarged to show detail. And you're gonna get eight cakes in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they really like the way they taste when they're frozen. I don't get it, but okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is um a 12.7 ounce box little cupcakes from Baker Street. And then I picked up some extra containers of juice. Um, these are probably going to go in the pantry, I suppose. Now, these are from Nature's Nectar, and it's a splash. It's kind of like V8 splash. This flavor is Tropical Blend. It is a carrot juice cocktail, a blend of six juices from Concentrate. It is an excellent source of vitamin C. Oh, all the vitamins were in Walmart were gone. I don't think I got a picture of that, though. But I walked by and I happened to see that all of the vitamins were gone. Like, everything. <laughs> it's crazy. But this is a 64-ounce container of Tropical Blend Splash. I'll just put that away for later. And I also got Berry Blend Splash. Which, again, is like V8 Splash, only it's a lot cheaper. And it's 64 ounces also. Oh. And I forgot this crinkly thing. We have Boulder Premium Allocation Napkins. And you can compare those to Vanity Fair. These are 100 napkins. Now, they did still have napkins at Aldi. They were totally out of paper towels. In fact, they had completely dismantled the shelves. Like, that was interesting. They're not even bothering putting this stuff on the shelves. I think they just wheel the pallet out there and just park it and people just take it. They're not even putting it on the shelves anymore. But these are just all-occasion premium napkins. And... I didn't, I'm not stockpiling these, I just legitimately needed some napkins, <laughs> and while I was there, I happened to remember it, I spotted them, and I bought them. These are $1.45 per package, and you do get 100 napkins, and they're really great napkins, they're very high quality. I would say they compare with Vanity Fair, although a package of Vanity Fair napkins like this would be, probably be at least $3, maybe more, maybe closer to $4. Um, these are really nice, uh, durable napkins from Boulder. Although I will say I am not a, I'm not really a fan of the Boulder paper towels. I tried them, but I keep going back to Bounty paper towels. The next best thing that I found are the Lidl 
paper towels, and that is how we pronounce it in the USA. It's Lidl. I made a whole video about it. Well, it's a 15-second video, but still. I did confirm with the company that in the USA it is pronounced Lidl. Somebody always corrects me when I say it. Um, they're okay. They're actually not bad. If you haven't tried the Lidl brand paper towels, they're pretty good. They are pretty good, and they are cheaper than um, than Bounty, but I just keep going back to Bounty. I, just, I don't know. I like them. And I wanted to get some Little Debbie cakes for my older son. They were totally out of the little packs, so I had to get this Brontosaurus erection size box of oatmeal cream pies. Do you see this? My God, this is one pound, 15.8 ounces, so basically two pounds of Little Debbie cookies. And these are the, the large, these are the gigantic ones. They're not literally this big, but they're a lot bigger than the regular ones. And you get 12 of them in here. The suggested retail price was $3.99. Now, they did have them at Walmart for $3.48. So, it's a little bit cheaper than this. I did not mean to get a box this big. I mean, if anybody breaks into my house, I could probably bludgeon them to death with it. It is substantial. But, I saw them. I thought, well, just go ahead and get them. Just get them. He can eat on these. Lord, you could about make a meal out of one of these. They're, they're huge. They are massive. I don't understand. It's like some kind of lab experiment to come up with those. Oh, I got this in Aldi, too. I have so many birds here, and sometimes there will be a traffic jam out there. I have two, no, three feeders out there right now. And there will be so many birds out there, they, they have to wait, basically. So I thought I would grab one of these tube feeders right here. And it has the little copper-colored uh, little thing that they sit on, and they pick the stuff out of here. The only thing I don't like about these is they're kind of hard to clean. The ones I have now are bigger around, and they're easier to clean. These are, these are a pain to clean. Um... But it has four feeding ports, a seed catching base, and brushed copper cap and base. It has a removable roof for easy filling. And here you can see the little hanger, and I have one of these too. This is another one of the Aldi uh, bird feeders. I already have one of these. And yeah, well, no, it's actually like that one. It's not as tall. So now I'm going to add one of these to my little hanger out there. I have a, a spot that I can hang it on. I thought it would be a good idea to just put another one out there. Sometimes I'll sit in the kitchen at the little table in my kitchen and I'll eat my lunch and just watch the birds out there. It's, it's neat to watch them come and go and squabble over the food. And every now and then, you know, a squirrel will show up and... It's just, I don't know, it's kind of nice. Now, the last thing I have, this is also from Walmart. More Pepsi Zero Sugar. Now, these are 12-ounce cans, and you get 12 of them in here. These were um, $3.50 a piece, I believe. They were, the price varies sometimes, but I don't need them, but I thought I would just tuck them away for later. That's for me too. That's my coffee. I don't drink coffee. That this is this is my coffee. <laughs> um, yeah. So that is everything. Um, I just thought I would show you since I've, I I don't take the time to make videos when I do go to stores. I try to get in and out. Um, but I wanted to at least show you some of the stuff I got. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and hang in there. You know I, my thoughts are with you wherever you are. Um, whatever you're, whatever it's like for you where you are, I'm thinking about you and, um, I'm going to try to, try to give you videos to distract you. This one definitely did not distract anybody from anything, but I'm going to try to make some that might help anyway. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you again really soon.